Well, good morning. Trucker Todd here. It's been a while since I did a video. Got a lot of questions coming in, things people wanting to know. Um, how do I like the hotel? How's my dog doing? How's the truck doing? In this video, I'm going to attempt to answer a lot of those questions. So stay tuned. Here we go. <music> Um, as I mentioned in the opening, um, we've had a lot of questions come in this week. We've kind of been off the radar. Uh, yesterday was our anniversary, and so we tried to detach from the phones as much as we could and just have a good day together. Um, a lot of people have been asking about my dog. For those that know don't know, uh, my dog's been having a lot of seizures lately. She's 17 years old half Pomeranian, half Schnauzer mix. Looks like a, a small Schnauzer. And uh, so everybody has been asking about her. Um, we've had some questions about my truck, um, when it's gonna be coming out of the shop. Um, for those that don't know about it, um, two steer tire or two uh, drive tires blew and they were recaps and they slapped the right side of my truck. and. Uh, did looks like about six thousand dollars worth of damage um, and we'll have an update on that as well and then uh, finally in this video we'll uh, talk about um, when I'll be back out so um, let's talk about um, what's coming up um, in my next video I'm gonna tell you something you should absolutely do before you come to work at Roadrunner Freight um, this week I've had about three guys that have made colossal mistakes when coming to Roadrunner and my goal here is to prevent you from making those same mistakes. So make sure that you have given me a thumbs up on this video. Make sure that you have subscribed to this video and then after you subscribe, wait a few seconds, a little bell will come up. Click that bell and then you'll be notified when I put out future videos. Um, also share this video on your social media platforms and uh, with people that you think uh, might be interested in Roadrunner, might be interested in trekking in general, um, so that we can get the word out. And so without further ado, let's jump in. Let's first talk about uh, what's been going on this week um, and then we'll get into the hotel, like I said, towards the end of the video. We got here and uh, was hoping to have kind of a relaxing uh, deal. The, the initial estimate on my truck was that it'd be down about two weeks, or no, not two, two weeks, until Tuesday, which would be exactly a week. Um, and so we're waiting to hear back on that. I'll tell you what I know here in a minute, but I don't want to skip around too much. Um, but we've had a lot of problems with our dog this week. She's been having seizures. Uh, she's missed a few days, but for the most part, she's having one or two seizures a day. Um, at one point, we took her to the vet, and we were thinking we were going to have to put her down. Uh, the vet didn't want to do that. He wanted to add another medication. Um, he still thinks she's got a little bit of life in her. Um, so we uh, added a medication, and then I think it was yesterday or the day before my wife increased that medication to, uh, uh, with, the, with the vet's permission, of course, to try to help with the seizures. Yesterday, um, the dog had a minor seizure, and so um, we're hoping that that'll work. And uh, it's been really stressful dealing with the dog, and um, she's having trouble controlling herself, going to the bathroom a little more, so we've had to buy pee pads, and and things like that and so anybody that's had a long-term pet can can surely sympathize with what we're going to regarding that as far as uh, the hotel I can start by saying that the uh, office staff is really really friendly here the manager is really really friendly and we've enjoyed staying here um, the first day here when we moved in um, I took some video of the room and uh, 
I want to show you that video now and then uh, we'll come back and talk about the truck a little bit. So here's the video on the hotel. So here is out front. Um, I'm showing this. We're on the first floor mainly because there's a lot of leaves and stuff on the ground from the time of year it is. And you'll see them when you come inside on the floor. So I'm doing that so you'll know that the room wasn't dirty when we got it, but just carrying our stuff in and out. We've still got more to carry in and out that we have tracks and leaves. There's some of our stuff. It has a nice desk uh, where I'll set my laptop up. Looks like at one time it had a fireplace. Uh, it no longer has that. Uh, the TV's kind of small, but that's okay. It's on a swivel, so you can watch it in bed. Or you can watch it uh, from this love seat here. Let me show you that. It's pretty good size. It said it was 200 square feet, but to me the room looks bigger than that. Uh, I want to say, I don't remember if it was a king or a queen size bed. It uh, has nice end tables on both sides for the CPAP machine. Let me show you this kitchen. It has a kitchenette. Since we're going to be here for a week, um, I thought I would uh, um, get a kitchenette. We'll go to Walmart and buy some groceries. You can see you got a dishwasher. Um, and then uh, it's got the garbage disposal and a regular household oven. And then it's a smaller refrigerator, for, but for just the two of us, it'll work. Uh, up in the cabinets, they've got some pots and pans. And then down here below the oven, they've got a skillet. Um, overall, we're pretty happy with it. Um, it's not perfect. I'll show you some things that aren't perfect. Uh, there's a hole in the closet door here. There's a closet door by the front door. But it has a nice little closet there with an iron. I don't see an ironing board, but to be honest with you, I probably won't be ironing any clothes. There's Paula. She's being unsocial and not saying hi. And uh, here's our closet. We've got our cooler in there uh, and some dirty clothes that we're going to go do laundry later. I don't know if it'll be today or not. Brought the cooler so we could bring uh, all the groceries out of the truck, out of the refrigerator. Not all of them, but most of them. Uh, she's working her way back into the video as I come into the bathroom. Uh, here is the bathroom. It's got the tub and the shower like most hotels do. She just turned on the light so you could probably see better. And uh, it's kind of small, but that's okay too. Overall, like I say, we're very happy. It's got a lot of storage space down there. A uh, hair dryer over there. This is a mystery door right here. We don't know where it goes. We're thinking it's probably the furnace. Um, I doubt it's the hot water heater, but I agree with my wife. It's probably the furnace. When we got in here, the temperature was 60 degrees. So it's nice and cold in here. Uh, I turned it up to 72. It's at 61 right now. I'm really comfortable, but her and the dog are cold. Um, Mocha just had a seizure a few minutes ago. So uh, we've got her in her bed. I'll probably show her at the end of this video when I film it later. Oops, my finger was in the shot. And there's uh, some more cabinet space and another shot of the TV. Uh, cable package. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. And uh, wrapping this video up, I'll tell you what I thought about the uh, management and everything here and let you know how our stay was. So since shooting that video, we've noticed a few minor things. Uh, the oven wasn't clean when we got here. Not a big deal. We haven't baked anything yet. Um, I think Sunday we're going to my oldest son's house and we're going to have a barbecue over there. Um, but the door for the bathroom had a crack in it. it looked like somebody kicked it at some point. Um, it does need some uh, minor repairs, but we don't know how much of this is coronavirus related. And what I mean by that is um, a lot of uh, hotels are having to cut back on amenities and things like that because they can't get the supplies. Uh, for example, there was bar soap in here, but there was no shampoo. And normally they might have shampoo. But uh, we got a decent rate on the room as compared to other places. And it's been quiet. We haven't felt like we were in a bad location at any point or anything like that. 
So overall, I would recommend this place. Um, this is the Studio 6 in Lubbock, Texas on South Loop 289. Um, it's right by the, the Target on the South Loop for those that are familiar with this area. Now, let's talk about the truck and uh, what's going on with it. So, uh, I got it there Tuesday morning. Uh, I believe it was at 8 a.m. when they opened. And uh, they got it right back, started working on it realized that Volvo had sent him some wrong parts and so he contacted him and told him he needed those parts overnighted to him. They did that. He got the parts Wednesday morning and they've been working on it since then. At this point the initial estimate of Tuesday is looking the most accurate. They uh, told us that they might have it Friday but it didn't come to be so um, they're closed this weekend, Memorial Weekend, for those that are watching the video later on. And then, of course, uh, Monday is Memorial Day, so they'll be closed Monday. And then we're hoping that uh, on Tuesday, probably afternoon, that they have it done. I'll probably go to work, uh, well, depending when I get it Tuesday, either Tuesday night or Wednesday night. And uh, so that's what's going on with the truck. Um but anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. It's a little longer than I intended, but I really hope everybody sees my next video about um, things that you definitely want to do before you even apply at Roadrunner Freight. And so thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.